everybody. Time for my favorite part of the show, fan mail. Again, I have to remind viewers, parental guidance is recommended for this segment. Today's letter comes from the great deer hunting state of Illinois, and it reads, Hey numbskull, your stupidity amazes me. I get the conservation end of hunting, but why kids? You are a moron if you think children can safely handle deadly weapons. It's only a matter of time until one of these kids kills themselves, or hopefully you. I thought you were just a dumb redneck, but now I'm convinced you must be retarded. Signed, kiss my Well, it's not the most politically correct letter I've ever received, and I have to apologize for my viewers for the writer's cussing and name calling, but there is a question in the middle of all that hate and ignorance. Why kids? The simple answer is because children are our future, and I'm not talking about the song. I started this program to educate the non-hunting public about our sport and about the benefits of conservation for society, our economy, and for our wildlife. But I also wanted to let other hunters see the joy of being a mentor, and more importantly, I wanted to let them know that our sport's in trouble. The average age of a hunter in the United States right now is 45 years old and rising. On top of that scary statistic, we're losing participants at an alarming rate. License sales are dropping 2%, 5%, 10% every year in every state. This is a national problem. Studies also show that when hunters start before 15 years old, they're about 20 times more likely to stick with it. See, I love studies and statistics, and you have all seen this one before. Incident reports from the National Safety Council prove hunting is a very safe sport, so the writer's fears and safety concerns are unfounded and based on pure ignorance. It's safer for kids to go hunting than to go skateboarding or camping or canoeing or skiing or any number of sports that are out there. Ping pong has more injuries than hunting does. Yeah, but if an accident happens in hunting, it tends to be larger than a ping pong accident, no? That is very true, but because of guys like myself, the thousands of volunteer hunter education instructors spread all across the country, hunting incidents are at an all-time low right now. These kids get to hunting camp in vehicles, in high-speed vehicles, on highways, using gasoline in hunting camps and knives at the, t at the kitchen table. That We'll never be able to protect each other from ourselves. There's always going to be accidents, and they're always tragic, and they're always heartbreaking. But as you saw in the report, hunting is at an all-time safe level right now with the fewest accidents, the fewest injuries, and the fewest deaths in the history of the shooting sports. Again, I'd like to apologize to my viewers for the writer's retarded comment, and I sure hope no one took offense to it. I'd like to end today's segment by dropping myself to that same level and inviting the writer on a duck hunt with me. We'll call that episode Tarred and Feathered. Gimme kiss. Thanks for the letter. Now back to the show.